discussed with the National <coughs> Land Commission, we have discussed with the CIC and the Attorney General's Office. So we are all in agreement. We have also incorporated most of the views of the private sector, the Kenya Chamber of Mines, uh, and uh, we hope that now we will have a predictable bill, a legal framework, a very transparent process in terms of mining, uh, licensing, and all other aspects of mining. So that bill should be in Cabinet in the next sitting of Cabinet, and then we will forward it. And by then, after Cabinet approval, we'll make the bill public. But the bill has several issues that we you all know about, and it was under the discussions and in principle, agree what to do. One is establishing a national mining corporation that from now onwards, most of the key mining uh, companies will have to be in partnership with government. 10% free carry interest. So the government will own 10% of that big license, particularly when it comes to mining itself. Uh, you have seen of late that people are using our licenses. They go and sell it overseas and it changes hands two, three times before even mining takes place. So we want to encourage the actualization of mining in Kenya. So you don't just play around with paper that is called a license and you make money out of it and the Kenyan government and the people of Kenya do not see the benefit. So we want to see that all those licenses benefit the country. So the National Mining Corporation will be holding 10% on behalf of government and still we are in discussion on how much Kenyans can buy from the stock exchange. So that is an arrangement we are going to negotiate at a later time, how much will be offloaded in the stock exchange.